This is a late Roman era arcu ballista, so it's the predecessor of the medieval crossbow. Now, this is really the first of them as far as we can tell. Uh, and so some of the details aren't thought out. It's, it's actually a rather crude weapon in many ways, but it was where it all began. Now, we of course know the Romans for all their torsion artillery, but this one is arcu, it's an arc, it's a bow. So it's a flexion bow, not a torsion bow. It's a handheld weapon. Uh, now we have only two stone cut reliefs, one of them being carried by a man, that show this object. One mention in writing where it talks about the deployment of it, but not actually the function of the weapon. So we really know genuinely very, very little about it. So as a bow maker and a weapon maker, I've interpreted what I understand and what I believe to be the bow itself, and I've turned that into a weapon here. So I can't say this is a reproduction exactly, but I can say it is my interpretation of what I believe it to be. Now, on medieval bows, you would expect the bow itself to be held on with a cord bridle, or later on, of course, with steel um, bow irons. Now, I've never seen a cord bridle on anything Roman, so I've avoided that, and I've just used wedges. Uh, the depictions on the stone relief look to me like horn and sinew bows. Possibly they also used yew ones. You would expect in northern climes yew bows to be used. Now, this one is actually, I faked it, I must confess. It is a fiberglass bow covered in linen. Uh, but it would have been a composite. Now, because of the wedges, at the front here, it would blow the front of the stock off if I wedged that in tight. So I've put in two ash dowels to hold it all together. We have a draw length of about 40 centimetres and a bolt of about 55 centimetres. Now that just hangs over a little at the front, just like the medieval times, so you can change your bolt head if you're using broad heads or something like that. Now, there's discussion that perhaps they use regular arrows on these bows. I just don't see why you would, because it needs no knot. Uh, also, you've made the effort of making a dedicated weapon, so why wouldn't you make a dedicated missile for it? It just, it doesn't make sense. So these ones fly very nicely. Now, we have all the elements you would expect of a medieval bow, really. That you've got the stock here, you have a rolling nut, in this case it's antler, uh, with a steel sear plate, it's tucked in there, and an iron trigger. Now, we don't have absolute definite um, confirmation that the Romans used rolling nuts, but there's a lot of finds which are relatively well dated and relatively well identified as what they are. So I think there's a general consensus that the Romans did have a rolling nut trigger, just like the medieval bows. I've avoided putting a spring in here because I feel perhaps they didn't have that. But what I've done is I've allowed more mass in the trigger so that it comes down under gravity. Uh, I've also put a return on here because there is again discussion that perhaps it was used as a, a cavalry weapon. So one hand on your reins, one hand there, and it helps to retain it in your hand. So you've got a large butt plate here, uh, and the reason that that is large is you put it against your belly, not your sternum, but against your belly here. You tense up, make sure the nut is set, and you can span your bow. Okay? Now this one is the first one that I've done, so I'm feeling my way a little bit, and it's only 45 pounds. But I've done a, a Renaissance stone bow, uh, which is about 150 pounds in draw weight, and it's spanned in the same way. So actually, this could go up easily to 130, 150 pounds with a little practice, uh, and you'd be fine with it. So that would make it a really formidable weapon. As it is now, it's good fun, and surprisingly accurate, really, bearing in mind you're basically shooting from the hip. So this is the loading procedure for an Arcu Ballista. So you take the, the large butt, put it on your chest here, just under your sternum, make sure the nut is set, and then just draw the string back. Shoot basically from the hip, reset the nut, So it's really, it's quite a, quite a quick bow to load. Uh, very easy to shoot. Obviously it'd be a bit slower if it's heavier, but it's a nice weapon and it, 
you know, at a heavier poundage of maybe 100, 120 pounds, would have outranged anything that would have faced the Romans bar their own torch and artillery. So really a good and simple weapon, I think.